okay so if we talk about data management so the first tool we have is data import wizard wizard so this tool is available inside salesforce itself user can import up to 50000 records at a time uh, we can prevent duplicate records also and the supported object in this uh, wizard is account contact lead solution campaign member person account and some custom objects all custom objects okay now if we talk about data export okay so we have a native data export all feature also available in salesforce so in this feature we can export weekly or monthly data like we can schedule it which will execute uh, once in a week or once in a month we can export data manually or schedule for once in a week or month this weekly op export option is not available in developer edition but if you go for sandboxes or uh, the production works you will find that month weekly export is also available okay now let's talk about data loader so data loader like to use data loader installation is required on user system so if i am a salesforce user and i want to use data loader then there must be some configuration will be done in my system to use it we can load uh, up to 5 million records okay wherever in uh, like and supported object it support the object which were not supported by data import wizard also so if there were some standard object which was not supported into let's talk about opportunity so opportunity is not supported into data import wizard but it is supported into data loader okay let's talk about the difference between data loader versus uh, data import wizard so data for data loader like installation will be required but for data import wizard installation is not required in data loader we can export data also but in data import wizard we only can import the data we cannot export the data okay uh, if we talk about uh, data deletion so in data loader we can delete the data but in data import wizard we cannot delete the data okay the number of supported records so in data loader we can uh, upload up to uh, 0 to 5 million records but uh, in data import wizard we can up upload up to uh, 50000 records only in data loader we cannot uh, prevent duplicate records but in data import wizard we can prevent the duplicate records also in data loader uh, and data import wizard in both the tools validation rule will be executed and in data loader we can insert case and opportunity and some other objects also like which were not supported in, into data import wizard but in data import wizard we have laser uh, support with standard salesforce objects okay so let's talk about like uh, like let's see a demo of both of these tools like how we can uh, how we can export the data from these tools so i am first showing the data export like data export wizard so let me show you my screen uh, let me go into the salesforce so first we are talking about data loader so to install it you need to search data loader here okay and here you have option to download it if i click on the download button it will take me to the external url and from here i can i can download it for uh, my for windows and there are some steps are given like how we can how we can set up, set up it okay so accordingly we can set up it up set it up okay. once we set up set it up let me show you how we can access it so like this is available here okay if i want to exp like we have all the options insert update upsert delete and export so if i want to export data i can export so it is in a production okay i am taking it as a auth okay okay 
I'm taking my username and password. Uh, this is my username. Okay. I'm opening the data loader. This is my password. I have click on the login button. So when we enter username and password for first time, it asks us to allow access. So I'm going to allow it. Okay. It is login successful. I'm clicking on the next. So I can search for any object like uh, account I'm selecting. Okay. Or I can select the employee skills. Okay. I can browse the screen like where I want to store the data. So it's in downloads and extract csv the file is name okay and i can name it something else like one dot csv i'm going to click on the next it will ask me like, like it will ask me to choose the fields why so i'm just selecting all the fields if i want to apply any criteria then i can apply the criteria here also and i'm just clicking on the finish and so it was having one record so I successfully accept the one record okay let me show you in my download section so here is the one dot csv file i'm gonna open it you could see this is the my file okay <coughs> now if i want to insert or update the data i can utilize the same tool uh, this is data expo tool so let me show you how i can insert the data i click on uh, this opening data loader again okay I'm clicking on the insert. So again, I like when I close it, so it was uh, like I was automatically logged out. I need to log in again. And I put my username and I'm putting my password. Okay. Hello. Click on next. So it was employee skill. I can browse the same CSV file. Okay. I can click on next. It contains one record. So we need like we need to create, edit, and uh, the, the mapping. So this employee field, I will map with the employee itself. Okay, sorry, it was below here. And for skills, I will map the skill field the skill so basically uh it is <clears throat> like uh we like the fields were available here were the salesforce fields and these were available in my csv file okay so if you see like id like if you are inserting the id cannot be mapped with any field this is deleted uh like last modify by id last modify date these are the system fields we cannot uh, map these fields when you are inserting the record okay so i click okay I'm clicking on the next and I'm just finishing. Okay. So when I insert a record, what happens? Like uh, in the backend, there is an error and success file also generated. So in the error file, if there was an, any error was generated, they will, that will be logged into here. So there was no error. So there was no, like we don't have any data into the error file for the success file the success data will be there. So it will have the ID of newly inserted record also, this one. 
okay and the status is item created let's see this data into the salesforce also like how it looks like into salesforce so i am selecting for employee skill okay so now we would have two total two record okay so this three one like zero zero three it was uh, created on older date and the other one we have zero zero four so it has uh, today's date for october okay the date of um, i'm recording this this video okay now let's talk about some other tools like uh, data export okay how we can export data with the help of data export tool also so there are two way like export now so i can choose like uh, which object i want to export okay let's suppose i want to export uh, account okay and okay then i will click on this start export so it takes some time and it sends an email to the user okay like the export has been queued and you will receive an email notification when it is completed okay so when the data export will be done i will receive an email then i can come to this page again and i'll i'll be able to see like the file has been generated and i will have option to download that file okay. now <clears throat> let's talk about data import wizard so this is data import wizard this is native tool we do not have to download anything and do not need to configure anything okay uh, i will click on this launch wizard okay these are the objects available here okay standard object and if i click on the custom object then uh, all the custom object will be available here so again i am inserting the employee skill only okay so i want to add a new record okay i click here okay and i would like to upload a csv file from the system okay or i can i can drag and drop a file also okay so let me do it so now i am able to choose this file okay we have a few options like uh, unique values in our data okay so if you want to update like uh, it it help us to identify like we want to add a new record or update existing record okay if you if you have any user field in your file and you want to uh, assign it with the record owner then you can do it okay so i'm not uh, touching on any of these and i'm just clicking on the next button okay here we have some options okay to map the fields so these are the fields available in my uh, csv header and i need to map these fields into with the salesforce fields okay so these fields like uh, we do not need to if i select this field okay created by id then i will not have any field right because these fields cannot be mapped while creating the fields while creating the records so for employee like i have an employee field okay i will choose this and map it and similarly i will do for skills So like we like uh, we move to the next screen but we have few options available here to uh, map the fields so we are matching the field with the name okay and uh, like which user field or i can leave it none uh which user field is uh, like uh, in your file designates record owner so i'm leaving it also none and which is skill field in your file do you want to match against the skill lookup field so this is a skill name 
and which employee field so i am just selecting the employee name okay and sorry i like my file is missed from here just give me a minute then i click on the next button okay So I make the employee with the employee and skill with the skill. Okay. Now I'm clicking on the next. Okay. Two fields I have made. I have selected the <coughs> import button. Now we'll be able to see the status here. Okay. There were two records. I was uh, like one record was process process and uh, like one record was failed so we are having only one record okay we can see the result here okay. so this is the result of csv and uh, we'll see what error we are getting okay so like the there was a issue into the uh, mapping okay so if you fix this issue with the mapping like the id uh, is not found then uh, it will like it will able to update uh, insert the record okay